Hey guys, Emmett Horizon here. Um, today we've got our hands on the new Galaxy Buds Lives in the Mystic Black variant. Um, so just wanted to do a quick hands-on and just my personal feelings and basically just a light review on Samsung's latest earphones. Um, so right off the bat, you can tell I've only had these earphones for about a day or so and they are a fingerprint magnet, the, like, the glossy finish. Um, it looks just filthy on these, like I could clean them off with a microfiber towel and if I come right back at them, fingerprints, fingerprints, fingerprints. So I definitely wish they would have went with the matte finish. Um, I didn't get my hands on the Mystic Bronze, so I'm not sure if the Mystic Bronze actually does have a matte finish, but that would have been much better than the Mystic Black variant, especially if it's glossy like this. Um, so if you open them up, um, the buds do come like this. They In the box, you will get a second fin. So this little rubber piece right here, let me set this down. This little rubber piece right here does come off to where you can replace it with a bigger sized fin. Um, so it's not too hard to do it. I tried the bigger fins myself and I didn't really like how they fit in my ear. And then when you put these in here, they, oh, sorry, they snap in there. So it's like kind of like a magnet that pulls them into place. So that's pretty cool. So like if you flip them upside down, they'll stay in there. So it's a pretty secure fit. One thing I do like about these buds is you have two LED lights. So this right here, it's green, telling you these are fully charged. And then right on the outside, um, the white is right here because it's trying to pair to my phone. But there are two LED lights on here, pretty cool. It's gonna have standard Android Type-C charger on here. Um, and I sound as far as sound quality and comfort goes, these are pretty loud. Personally, um, I've heard some other reviews that say otherwise, but personally, I don't think they're louder than the AirPod Pros or my AirPods. But as far as Samsung earbuds go, I've done the I've had the Buds and the Bud Plus earphones, and I definitely like these way better than those. Um, but I prefer my everyday regular AirPods compared to these if I'm going to be listening to music or going somewhere. These do fit kind of more comfortably though. So if I was ever going to sleep with these, I mean, if I was ever going to listen to music while I slept, I would probably pop these in or if I'm going to be on a long trip or something like that, um, I would definitely go with these because I do think they are slightly more comfortable than the AirPods, but the AirPods have them beat as far as sound quality goes. As far as value goes, these were about 170. Um, and I know you can get AirPods, the second generation, if you don't get the wireless charging case, you can get those for 130. So you are looking at adding about $40. Um, these do come with um, wireless charging right off the bat. So you, that is an included feature. So if you have an Android, you can use PowerShare and charge these while you're on the go or anything like that. But um, if you did get the wireless charging for the AirPod, those are about 150. And that brings the value gap to about a difference of 20. So that's not too big of a difference right there. So that's definitely enough to make it worth it if you have an Android, especially a Samsung, so you can get used to those um, capabilities as far as Bixby and then Google Assistant and stuff like that. Um, these earphones do work on iOS or any other device. It doesn't have to be Android, but you will get the most features out of using it with an Android device. Same thing with AirPods. Everyone knows that they work better with the iPhone because you can do Siri, you can have it read your messages. These also do that. Um, but like I said, if you have an Android, I would definitely um, put out the $20 more and get these instead. Um, I ordered the Note 20 Ultra, so it came with a 150 credit and these were one of the things I can get. So out of pocket, I paid about $21 after tax and stuff like that. And for $21, these are definitely amazing earphones. But for $170, um, if you have an iPhone, I would definitely recommend pushing you towards the AirPods. And if you have a Samsung, definitely get these because these are probably Samsung's best earphones so far. Um, that's pretty much all I have on them as far as value, sound quality goes. Like I said, I really hate this glossy finish. Like even AirPods, they have like a glossy finish on them, but they don't attract ear um, fingerprints just like this. And it just looks gross and filthy all the time, um, especially for such a premier item for it to look dirty all the time. I think that was definitely a misstep on Samsung's part. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have on these guys, Event Horizon. Um, please like, subscribe, comment below. If you have any questions, reach out to me and I'd be glad to help you out with them. Um, yeah, catch you next time.